Well, thank you. Howdy. Hey. Dr. Spencer, Connor Gibson. I work with Greenpeace. Oh, okay. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about your current work? Uh, I don't know. Can I ask what you're working on currently? I know you've been you've been in a, in this, these circles for quite a while at a lot of the international conferences on climate change, um, and celebrated yeah, for the research this here. Yeah, before you were a gleam in the old man's eye. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you finding now? What's the latest research? Uh, well, we spent the last three years uh, spending a lot of time making our new satellite data set, completely redoing a lot of our procedures so that we think they're better. Uh, so we have a new satellite global temperature data set. So that's what I talked about here. What is it going to, what do you hope it'll add to the conversation? Uh, well, it supported remote sensing systems, you know, the other satellite data set, which uh, showed that it hadn't warmed in, in 18 years. We showed a little bit of warming, and now both data sets show, like, essentially no warming. Hmm. So, yeah, that's what we do, is we continue to monitor the climate and report the results every month. The elephant in the room for me. Okay. If, 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 I, if I'm skeptical of your data set, mm -hmm. based on some of your history, um, you know, other scientists calling data that you've published into question, um, having to retract certain things from papers, will, will, I, will, I be, from papers. Will, will I be a Nazi in your eyes? Am I a Nazi in your eyes? No. So what of, what of the big sensation blog that you put up where you said, um, that's anybody that believes in climate change is a global warming that's Nazi? That's because I got tired of being called a global warming denier, which both journalists and other people have come out and said were as bad as Holocaust deniers. So they were making Nazi illusions for the last seven years, and I finally had enough of it. Hmm. Well, I don't... So I said, I'm going to call you guys global warming Nazis, and I'll tell you why. That label sticks more than your label. Got you. It's because but your policies are going to kill millions of people. That's, I, I think that stands at odds with most of the scientific research showing global warming poses a major threat to the world's poor. I mean, that's what the Pope is, 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 totally is talking about right now. We're totally at opposite ends of this discussion, so there's no point in us discussing it. But you're in the 3% of scientists who don't agree with the consensus, right? So denial doesn't there necessarily no have to do with the Holocaust. You denial, heard, you can, you can any deny any anything. Did you see any of the talks? I've watched some of them, yeah. I didn't see yours, though, so I apologize for not seeing it. The but 97% is bogus. Well, I know it's not something that's convenient for this camp, but there have been redundant studies showing the 97 to 98% oh, consensus. Bullshit. And you don't fit into that, Dr. Spencer. That's so bullshit. like, why, why, <laughs> why, why, would I, why would I trust your, your judgment, which has been pretty heavily marginalized for a couple decades over oh, that of the 97% of you know, climate researchers? You know, 97% of stockbrokers will say you should buy stocks. <laughs> These people have a vested interest. But they're getting paid, to, they're getting, they make money doing that. They make a lot of money doing that. So do these people. But you think, you think there's government. a massive global conspiracy government. among scientists to make a lot of money? They're not making bank exactly, they're but Charles and business. David Koch are making bank. ExxonMobil is making bank. They're trying and they're to, funding a lot of the people here. They're trying to stay here. in business. Yeah. You don't not, think... I'm just saying they're not independent. They're not independent. And you are independent. How, how do you ensure your independence because, is maintained? Because I've been on both sides of this. I don't really care what the answer is. I'm just trying to say the science that's presented to the public is biased. I'm not saying it's wrong. It's possibly true. But I'm saying there's a whole other area of evidence that disagrees with it. And people are ignoring it. They need to know both sides. What would it take to convince you that it's that it's valid then with 97 to 90% of experts studying it saying that it is a human caused to, problem? Global temperatures are going to have to start going up again fairly rapidly in the next 10 years. But the overall trend already already proves that, right? I mean, I guess that's why the hockey stick was such an inconvenient photo, because you can isolate 15 years and say, hey, the temperature hasn't risen for 15 years. But that's not how climate science is studied. It's studied on, you know, centuries of data. The climate models on which all policy is being predicated are now at serious odds with observations on these timescales. Okay? So there's a huge disconnect. 